Hey everyone, it's Tuesday and you're watching the Beaver Bunch and we are in official countdown till Christmas mode. Um, I am wearing my Christmas shirt and um, the Christmas tree is on and we decorated our dog Zara up with a little um, collar that had jingle bells on it and she like really likes it and I had to take it off or we had to take it off of her so that she wouldn't be like making a lot of noise in the video but we put it out in the hall and she's been like crying for it because she really likes it whose dog likes to be dressed up in that stuff I don't know but I guess ours our little communist dog So this week the topic is about what went wrong or what what mistakes did you make in previous relationships and I thought and this question I actually got on form spring I posed it to the rest of the beavers because I thought it was something that you guys would get a, a lot of different um, ideas about and for me what were my mistakes I think I put in more effort than I should have putting in a lot of effort, a lot of energy when things were just bad from the get go. No, it's okay. We can work through it. Like all this stuff and like, oh, it's so worthwhile, but it's like, you think it's worth it because it should be worth it. But you know what? Not every relationship is worth it. I was always kind of concerned about was like, if it didn't work, then that reflected on me somehow, like being a, being like a failure or it being like my fault. But really it's just like, if it doesn't work out with two people, that's okay. People can bring out the wrong things in you, and I think that that was my problem. I've been in relationships with people who weren't as positive as I would like or weren't as, like, complimentary, and, like, not with an I, but with an E, you know, where they, like, where you go together with them. You can either drag each other down into a spiral of, like, your crap and your drama or your, like, insecurities or your, um just problems or you can have somebody that you can get through things with and you, you know you feel like you're overcoming them and getting stronger and stronger and, and you work together at things I would take a lot of the fault because it was like I didn't want to argue or I didn't want to make it worse so I would just be like you're right I'm wrong I'm such a bad person oh my gosh yes so I would like compensate for that and like try to say I was wrong and admit it like even if I wasn't wrong and I shouldn't need to admit it but just because I felt like I could like model how to be apologetic or like fessing up to whatever it is that was going on. But really it was like, you know, it's just not the right person. Like I think that that was the thing and like I think a lot of times you don't want to believe it because you want to be committed and be really into the relationship that you're in and that's what you should be doing. But like pay attention to red flags. It won't always work out and you have to be okay with that in certain like in certain things like if if I, I i just can't even explain it because it's like it's just it wasn't working and it was like i was trying to tell myself that it was and do everything i could to make it work when it's like it's not i guess the moral of the story is you're not ever trapped in a relationship and if you feel like you are that's even worse because that's not healthy or correct to think that but like just know that if you're not happy that either you can become happy with someone else or you can make it work with that person but like you have to say, you have to kind of like say at what expense like what am I giving what am I losing like what you know am I really being the best that I can be with this person if you're not being the best that you can be and if you're not thriving it's like that's that's not it that's not what it's about and save yourself the trouble the heartache the stress like it's okay to be alone it is okay to be alone rather than be with somebody and be unhappy. Okay, beavers, next time I see you, it will be after Christmas, and I want to hear all about your Christmases and about um, your relationships that didn't work out um, and what mistakes you made, because then I won't feel like I'm the only one making mistakes up here, you know, help, help a sister out. I will see you next Tuesday. What? Oh! Last week, thank you, Mary Beth. Last week, um, the topic was about a uh, first kiss or like a kiss, like how to go in for it. And uh, the baby beaver that wrote in about it, she commented in my video that she got the kiss. So mission accomplished and yay beavers. <laughs> so that's a good parting thought. 
All right, bye.